almost nine. Try not to be nervous. Yeah, right. Think of it as uh, being born. Where is he? Pierce. They have eyes in the back of their head. And Janet, she's... Yeah, would you relax? <sighs> Janet will be here too, all right? Be a little smooth. This whole thing could backfire, Scott. It could blow up in my face. I mean, just look at Brooke. Look how happy she is. She has no idea Pierce is home. And Jamie, I mean, he's crazy Laura, Laura, about Laura, the guy. I should Laura, have told him. I promise. <sighs> nothing will go wrong. Hi. Hey. Janet, you made it. I, how can I stay away on your red lip? Thank you. Hi, Scott. How you doing? Listen, I, I, I talked to Phoebe. Right, we had words, and uh, she promised she would be civil. <laughs> I even brought Jamie a present. I found your big sister, so he'll feel special, too. Sweet. Yeah. Obviously, in this case, Laura's original birth certificate won't be sealed. Right. However, the state has some regulations regarding signatures. Oh, here. okay, well, that's no problem. Um, oh. Janet, hi. 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 Look, Janet brought a, a present for Jamie. Isn't it sweet? Oh, that was very thoughtful of you. So, uh, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Fine. Um, just one more, um, paper that needs your signature? Sure, sure, yeah. Thank you. I remember you. Oh, it's good to see you. You look wonderful. This is the nicest surprise I've had in a long time. You didn't tell Brooke I was coming? No, I, I called Pearson and told him about the adoption ceremony. It's the best thing that could have happened for both of you. What about me? <laughs> what about you, jet pilot? <laughs> <laughs> you got a great family here, Brooke. Your family, too, dear. I, I really wanted Pierce to be here. Well, of course you did. Hey, um, look, if you're expecting a crowd, I can wish you all the best and... We want you here, Pierce. Really, please stay. Try to get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kiefer, be seated. All of you, please, get comfortable. Normally, I'd invite you into my chambers, but the walls are being repaneled, so everything's in chaos. But where we meet isn't important. It's what we're gathered here today to finalize and to honor. The formal adoption of Laura Kirk by Brooke English. Laura's gonna be my sister. <laughs> it's all right. When you work with lawyers all day, it's refreshing when someone gets straight to the point. <laughs> Do you want Laura to be your sister? I think it would be really cool. <laughs> Young man, you're not alone. Having had time to review statements submitted by Ms. English's friends, family, and co-workers, and with the full endorsement of social services, I am pleased to declare that you have been granted full custody of the minor child, Laura Kirk. Miss English, I understand that you and your daughter would like to say a Do you want to go first? No, why don't you go? My legs are a little shaky. <laughs> My daughter. It's, it's, um, it's music to my ears. I, I thought long and hard about how to express what I'm feeling and what it is I wanted to say exactly to you, Laura, and to Jamie, and to Aunt Phoebe, and to Stuart, all the people that I hold most dear. 
And I guess I finally came up with two very simple, very heartfelt words. And they're, thank you. Thank you for choosing us and for giving us the gift of who you are, for letting us share in your life <laughs> and love you and for showing me that family, it's, it's not just about blood ties. It's about caregivers, the hand holders, and the listeners, and the tear dryers, and the soothers, and the comforters. And it's about people that know you, that really know you the best, and who've seen you at your worst, and who love you most of all. And family is a place where the doors always open, and where the light in the window shines bright and steadfast. And if you ever lose your way, the only thing you ever have to do is listen to your heart and you'll find your way back. And I'll be there to welcome you home. <laughs> Crib sheet. I'm a really lousy public speaker. Um, uh, first, I, I, I want to say thank you. I mean, really, I guess it must be that psychic um, mother-daughter thing kicking in. I, I remember the day after my mother died, how it felt to wake up alone and know that my best friend was gone. I was completely terrified. If I got sick or got into trouble, it was just me, solo. I didn't have anybody to turn to. It was kind of like this, um, this big light just goes out and you tell yourself, you know what, darkness is fine <laughs> because there's nothing out there worth seeing anyway. Everything around me just, just faded into shadows and the, the city skyline was like this huge jagged edge leading to nowhere. <laughs> Which is exactly where I could have lived and died. Just like my mother. But lucky for me, I... I had a, a postcard my old pal Nelly gave me was um, pictures of my valley. And I, 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 used to, <laughs> I used to tease her about it and tell her it sounded like a salad dressing. <laughs> but she just, she raved about it like it was paradise, which is why I ended up here. You know, I was, um, I was looking for something. And I found it. Well, it uh, kind of found me. I, uh, I fought it plenty. We both had the bruises to prove it. But they healed. They healed, and I finally realized what was right there the whole time. You know, Brooke, um, Brooke has a handprint that, uh, that her first Laura made. And I, I, I learned a little bit of palmistry from Myrtle. She um, told me about lifelines, that they don't really end. They just sort of flow one from the other with no beginning and no end. And I learned from Brooke and from all of you that they, they finally take you home.
so proud of you. I'm so glad you came. Really? You saved my life? You saved mine, too. I would never have made it out there in the woods without you. Well, well, Pierce was the one who nursed you back to health. More than that. He brought us both back to life. Yeah. We were a family. We were. No one can take that away from us. We'll always have it. And I'll always love you. I always love you. So, um, we're all gonna go to holidays to celebrate, so will you come? Thanks, uh, I, I can't. I mean, I really appreciate you including me, but I've got to get back to work. Don't be a stranger. Impossible. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Bye. Hey, how do you feel? Oh, <laughs> I feel like I belong. <laughs> like I really belong. <laughs> great. I just wish all my cases ended so happily. Oh, listen, I appreciate everything that you, that you did to make this happen. Oh, all I did was file a formal petition. You and Laura made it happen. Um, we're gonna have a little celebration of holidays. Would you want to come and join me? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, great, <laughs> great. Hey. You two did yourselves proud today. Yeah, well, we're, we're gonna go celebrate at holidays, so you'll come, right? It wouldn't be a party without you. And you can count on me to be there. <laughs>